Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is how to upload multiple images in PHP and store that in database. So I'm going to show you in two ways. First one where there are you know, going to be multiple inputs. Like uh, well, I am taking five inputs and these are going to be stored in database and another will be one input with multiple image so in one input only you can upload multiple so let's get started with this firstly create index.php file and in that write basic html structure in title give multiple image upload after that i'm just going to copy bootstrap css and paste that in head and js also and paste that before closing of body tag now write a div with class container and another div with class row inside that call 12 and now i'm going to start my form with method post and type is going to be multipart slash form data as its input type file is going to be there so div class form group now inside that write input type file name is going to be image1 class form control now copy this and paste i just need five so and i'm going to change name to array that is image I am also passing one label that is image1 and paste that in every image image2 image3 image4 image5 so I have taken five images let's go and refresh there you can see five images now let me give a heading that is multiple image upload and one you know submit button that is input type submit name submit value is going to be submit class let's say btn btn primary and that's our view created after that create db file pass action equals to file upload.php create new file and save that with same name in php check if firstly form submit button is you know is set or not so in if check is set post and submit and inside that write for each underscore files and pass that name that is image in that and temporary name i'm going to take and inside for each pass you know take that temporary name and name in a variable so file name is going to be equals to name of the image and file name temp is going to be temporary name i'm just going to print file name let me go to browser and choose some file mm, just going okay i have selected one so i have selected two files and it's giving me error so okay it's going to be files not file so again refresh now you can see it's exactly giving me the same name of the image that i have just uploaded now I'm going to check for extension that is it's like jpg png or any other type file so for extension path info I'm going to use that is php function and I'm passing file name with path info extension and let's just print that extension in browser now let me create an extension array in which jpg 
PNG and GIF like these I'm passing and inside that if condition I'm checking that this extension is present in array or not and if it's not present in else condition you can just display your error I'm not going to display any error right now after you know in if condition uh, I'm going to upload that file and for uploading let's create one folder with name images and pass you know folder name and file name in move uploaded file and in browser refresh again and you can see in images folder two images are uploaded now file is uploaded so let's rename file if it's exist in folder so for that write if file exist in folder that is images slash with file name then upload the same file else like basically what I'm doing is that if file doesn't exist in folder then same file will be uploaded else I'm going to take base name with file name and extension I'm going to print file name so it's giving me images dot so if same name file exists I'm going to rename that file so for rename let's create new variable with let's say new file new file name and I'm going to you know add time to it and add extension also if I refresh in browser you can see there are two dots coming and I don't want that so for that I'm going to replace my string that is with string replace I'm going to replace dot with dash and that's you know before adding my extension that is I'm going to add that to file name and if I after adding that if I'll refresh again in browser now you can see there is only one dot that is before extension now let me upload this renamed file with move upload file in images folder and if I'll again go to browser and refresh now if I'll open my images now you can see there are two images new with different name uploaded so now let's store this in database so I have already created one database with image upload and inside that one table that is multiple images with column image ID image name image status and image create time so I'm going to insert my you know image upload in this table so let's go and do it so firstly let's make a connection with database so for, for that create a file with database.php inside that take a variable con equals to mysql I connect local host server root username and password is blank and db name is going to be image upload after that check in if condition if mysql I connect error number like if there is any error so it's going to print echo that is fail to connect and print whatever error is there so for that mysql I connect error so our db is done connection and include this file in file upload.php and after that write insert query let's go to table and click on insert remove extra things I just need image name and create time I just need these two columns 
and after writing that copy the insert query and paste that in insert query variable now let me just define one file final image that is first one is blank and after that a file does uh, like exist then file name and in else condition a file name is going to be new file name also define create time that is date format with date and time format now pass this in query after that mysql query inside that cone and pass the variable of the query so basically here you are executing your query after that header location i'm just redirecting that to index.php so our table is blank right now and if i'll refresh again and again check table so there are two entries and if i'll check folder image is also uploaded in folder so our first way is complete so now if i'll go for second one so from folder i have removed all the images and from db also i have you know empty the table so let's you know comment these four and i'm just going to add one multiple attribute to image one and if i'll go and again refresh in browser i can select now two or three into single one and if i click on submit so now you can see there are three entries in db and if i'll check my folder there are also three images uploaded so in this video i have shown you two ways how you can upload multiple images in php and store that in database so i hope this video is helpful to you please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching